Lindsay from 1995 to 2012 would be a society-ridden, icon the, the iconic generation that we live in. Since the day I was born, I've been hearing these things constantly, constantly reminded that I will never be as good as the people older than me, constantly reminded that I need to grow up before I start go voicing my own ideas. Yes, I'm only 13. Yes, I haven't learned everything yet, but I still have my own opinions and ideas, and I'm tired of people overlooking me because I'm too young. I was never a normal kid. I was a kid who would look at my look at the Instagram models and subconsciously subconsciously compare my body, only to realize that I'm probably 50 pounds heavier. I'm the kid that locks herself in the bathroom stall to hide from her peers that she's shaking uncontrollably and, able, and unable to breathe. What's it like being a normal kid? A kid who doesn't spend all their time on their phone but hide away from a bigoted household. A kid who gets go goes outside all the time instead of fearing walking to the mailbox because what if somebody sees me? What's it like? Stressing over the fact that at any second someone could burst through your classroom door and take your life instead of stressing over grades. Not to hear lockdown, lockdown, lock the door, shut the lights off, say no more. Go behind the desk and wait until it's safe to decide. Lockdown, lockdown, it's all done. Now it's time to have some fun being chanted inside the kindergarten or class. According to the Times Magazine in October 2018, 90% of Generation Z has depression and or anxiety. I'm stressed. Most of this generation is under 18. How is this okay? Small children hiding under desks, fearing that a school shooter would take their lives away far too soon. Teenagers crumbling over the pressure to have the perk, the, perk, the right amount of lights. Where are the times where we snuck out to meet with our friends instead of checking our posts? Where are the times we gorge ourselves without a care in the world instead of not eating for weeks because it hurts our body? Do you find it scary to talk to people? Do you have to psych yourself up to ask for something at the store? Since the beginning of sixth grade, I've had many mental health issues, along with most people in my age group. All my life, I've had people tell me, just don't think about it, or stop overthinking, I don't have issues. I wish I could do this. I would do anything to just be fine around people I don't know, to go up to people and make friends. I wish I could raise my hand to ask for the bathroom instead of holding it for several hours, several hours because everyone will stare at me if you make a noise. I want to blend in. I want everyone to look at me and go, she's normal. But why do I have to validate my feelings? The last thing I want is attention. I just want someone to understand me and my emotional state. All I want to ask you is why? Why let our younger generation have these uh, mental disorders and ignore it? Why acknowledge students pursuing education and getting shot for it but not trying to fix it? Why find out something is wrong with someone but not doing anything to acknowledge it because it'll be awkward? If we continue doing these things, then why should we even bother trying? Whatever people say about us, ignore it, even if it's a quote unquote good thing. Yes, of course we play Fortnite with little Tide Pods on our salad. <laughs> we have goldfish eyes, attention spans, and only care for ourselves. Yes, we're lazy and glued to our phones, so much that there's been an official phobia, nomophobia, of being without your phone for too long. How can we stop these stereotypes? What Generation Z need is someone to stop looking down at us and to treat us like we're human beings and not filthy pigs.